Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we are back in Sprocket yet again, and today we're going to be building a tank for the interwar period. Now this thing is going to be quite large and hopefully quite powerful, so let's get to it. Alright, so the first thing that we need to do, as we always do, is go to freeform hulls. Bam! I whack that one into there. We're then going to go into mobility, go to fenders, and get rid of those. We're then going to actually start working on the tracks themselves, because I think that's where I sort of want to start. So let's go ahead and raise these guys up there quite a bit. We're going to make these actually quite big. So the idler wheel is going to be quite large, and the sprocket itself is going to be really large too. And I kind of want it to look just like that. Not really too much of a change in between these. So I think I'm going to keep it that way. There we go. What we're going to do from there is increase the thickness of this to about 150. Bosh. And we're going to go ahead and go to the track segments. And make them look like this. Yeah. Looks a little bit insane. But don't worry about that too much. Okay, so from there, what do we want to do? Well, the width of the tracks is going to come down to 350. There we go. I am going to go ahead and push all of those guys in, and hopefully that'll look good. All right, so I think to me that actually looks decent. Yeah, we're not really going to be seeing any of this, so don't worry about it too much anyway. Right, what is next? I guess the actual body of this thing. Okay, so what do we want the front of this thing to actually look like? Well, I'm actually not entirely sure. I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and raise this guy upwards like this. And this guy is going to come downwards like that. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and squidge this in. I think that's actually pretty much what I want. From there, we're going to go ahead and raise this up a little bit more. And we're going to go ahead and bring this guy backwards a little bit more too. And then from there, we can obviously extend this guy upwards, probably to the top of where the tracks are. Which might be a little bit insane, but there you go. Alright, so now that we've done that, uh, I think what I want to do is actually grab the rear end of this thing. There we go, send it all the way forwards to like, I don't know, uh, there. <laughs> Which might seem a bit weird, but that's fine. We're then going to extend this guy backwards to around here. And that allows us to go to here, raise it up a little bit, and actually extend out over the edges. Just like this. Yes, it looks weird, but I think it'll be fine. Okay, just to make sure that this has a little bit more armor than it, I don't know, than you'd think, I suppose. We're going to go ahead and drag that backwards. We're going to move this guy backwards a little bit. And we're going to go ahead and angle this quite a bit as well. And I guess we'll go ahead and angle these guys inwards too. Which should look a little bit strange, but actually looks pretty good. Overall, I think on the front of this, it looks nice. Alright, so from there, what are we going to do? Well, I'm actually just going to go ahead and extend this guy backwards like this. There you go. Uh, I am going to go ahead and lower it down slightly. There you go. And I just want it to look nice. So I'm going to go to edges. I'm going to split it once. If I can. What have I just done? There we go. Split it. Excellent. And I'm going to split it again. Because what I want to do is what we always do on the rear of these tanks. And that is... Do this. There we go. Grab each of these guys all the way across the top. And extend it backwards even further. Just like so. Where we can then do these guys upwards, like this. And this guy could come downwards, just like this. I want it to be level if I can. And that's probably level enough. Yeah. Okay, from there, what do we want to do? Well, I think I actually want to extend these guys outwards a little bit like this. And honestly, that's fine. Yeah, so far, so good. Alright, so can we actually add some fenders back onto this thing? Or will it look really weird? I'm not entirely sure, so let's just raise this up to pretty much touch the uh, the spur, whatever you call it, I can't remember. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and raise it up to there. And then I guess the width of this has to come inwards a little bit. There we go. Uh, a little bit less, because I am going to bring it inwards. There we go. And honestly, that looks not too shabby. I'm going to bring this all the way into here. The front offset is actually going to come all the way backwards to there. And I'm going to angle this guy upwards. And I might actually scale this up a little bit too. Does that look strange? Yeah. Alright, so I am going to go ahead and extend these guys backwards a little bit like this. And, weirdly, I'm going to do this. Yes, that is kind of weird. In fact, that's very weird, but there you go. Do that down to there. Bring it backwards a tiny bit more. Bring it upwards so it's not quite interacting. And that looks fine. Good. All right, what else do I want to do? Well, I'm going to go and extend this like so. That seems fine. We will actually bring these guys out to the edges a little bit more. And I really like the idea of doing something round on the top of this. 
But I really don't know how that's going to go. I kind of want to extend it out to the side. And then have it, like, attached together over the top. So we're going to do this. And we're going to squidge these together. Kind of... I don't know what it's on. But, like, I like the design. You know, just like a... Yeah, like that. Like an engine cover, but for there. I'm sure that's fine. Right, let's go ahead and raise this up a little bit more. Here we go. Excellent. And to me, that looks pretty awesome. The only thing I would say is the tracks are definitely not awesome. Alright, so instead of using those, I might actually go with... Oh, I don't know. These, I guess? Yeah, they look somewhat similar, so maybe that's fine. Yeah, we'll go with that. You know, you can actually place uh, some of these as well, which is interesting because it might actually give us a chance to actually put these on properly and also for it to somewhat, like, bend, you know? I know it's a little bit of a strange thing to do, but, like, if we did this so that it actually came down... I don't want to do it an awful lot, like, just twice, maybe? Um, yeah, we could totally do that. I have seen this on a tank in Sprocket somewhere, but I'm not sure where. All right, let's go ahead and do this and this. There we go, and I think, honestly, I might just leave it like that. There's not really too much more I want to do with it. There we go. Yeah, interesting. You know, I've added an extra one just because I thought that would be cool. Uh, one thing as well that I think would look nicer is if I grabbed each of these uh, and actually had this extend backwards a little bit so that it actually extended over the rear. Uh, not by much. I, I don't want it by much, but just a little bit. There. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Okay, so I think that's pretty much it for the body of this thing. Uh, we are going to go ahead and put, like, a driver's view in here and stuff like that. Uh, and hopefully that'll look pretty good. So we'll just put the driver right there. I think I want a side gunner on the other side. Yes. Here we go. I, I like the idea of using one of these. I just... It rarely fits. But yeah, let's go ahead and shove that on there and bring it out a little bit. Yeah, I guess that works. And then I would actually really like to add some viewports to this too, so... One goes right there. We're then going to do... You know what? I should do this on both sides. There you go. So one there. Uh, we're then going to add these guys. So if I twist it by two, shove it onto there. Twist it by two the other way. And shove it onto there. That looks okay. If we can then add some crew hatches, that would be awesome. I don't know whether they'll fit though. Ah, they kind of do. Yeah, that's actually really cool. Okay, so currently it does actually move. That's amazing. Uh, in order to make the front bit look a little bit nicer though, I am going to go ahead and have to like extend this side out, which is insane. But yeah, let's go ahead and extend it out like this. Bring it inwards just a little bit. I do need to be able to see the tracks to see where I should go to. And then we are actually going to go ahead and try and fill this in. <laughs> like a little bit anyway. So raise this up, bring it upwards to there. We're then going to just send these two backwards to here, obviously. And then this and this can actually come backwards to around there. And it doesn't look too out of place. That actually looks a lot better. Good. I'm not going to lie. I feel like this engine bit on the back is just a little bit too big. It actually looks huge. And I don't really know what to do with it. I might leave it huge for now, but I'm not sure. I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to make it a little bit smaller, just like do... Oh, wow. Oh, that actually makes the shape even cooler, so I'm happy with that. <laughs> okay, good. And I guess I, I, like, I want it to squidge down more. So I might just have to grab the top ones and do it that way, but I don't know. I don't know how I want to do it. All right, here we go. Grab these. Do this. Honestly, I guess that's sort of, sort of fine. It's a little bit smaller than it was. Alright, so I'm going to go around and add a ton of rivets to this thing, and then we'll come back and we'll see what it looks like. Okay, so I suppose I should update you guys on what I've done. Uh, essentially, I've added a bunch of rivets literally everywhere. I've added some panels and some ladders. Uh, I did the same thing right here, some panels, some ladders, and more rivets. Uh, we've added rivets and panels, and also an exhaust, a bunch of engine stuff down there. And we've also added this thing, and there is actually a tank... Um, trench crossing thingamabobby underneath there as well, uh, which I thought was cool at the time, but it sort of doesn't need to be there right now. So I'm actually, eh, we'll leave it there for now. Uh, but yeah, I think this looks pretty good. What I want to do is actually add a turret to this, but I'm not sure whether we should do that in today's video. What am I saying? Of course we should. But uh, what I need to do next is add a bunch of stuff down here. Uh, I want this to be pretty much fully covered. So that is my next plan. 
Okay, so this is not quite how I wanted this to look, but we've gone ahead and done it anyway. So you can see the tracks all the way around. That is fine. I've added riveted panels on the outside. Obviously, I am going to push those in slightly as well. And then we can add a turret to this thing and maybe even just go to war. There is more detail that I would love to add, but I don't think I can do that today. Alright, here we go. I've grabbed every single piece of this. We're going to go ahead and push this in as close as we can get. Uh, I do want to get rid of those guys. I don't want them to be showing. So, we're going to have to go to tracks and... Honestly, what I might just do is... Oh. Haha, <laughs> get rid of those. There we go, nice. So yeah, we'll leave it like that. It's not really how I wanted it to look, and I should have built it out of the body, but never mind. Alright, so I also have an idea for the actual turret as well, uh, and we're going to go ahead and get on with that now. So, essentially what I'm going to do is put a turret on here, and make it round. That's what I want to do. Alright, so there is a turret. Very nice. Obviously it's a little bit too tall and stuff like that, so we're just going to go ahead and squidge it down. Awesome. Uh, and that is essentially going to be covered by a turret ring anyway, because I want it to be, so let's raise this up. Uh, and I guess, actually, let's go ahead and just select all of this. There we go. Uh, we will squidge it in so that it is actually within the bounds. There we go. And... There we go. Excellent. And then what I want to do is grab the entire top piece of this and extend it out the top. Because that's what happens. So extend it up here. There we go. Excellent. And then we are going to extend it again? Yes. And then I'm going to grab all of this. Uh, right all the way around here. We're almost there. Come on. Come on. There we go. Grab that. Grab all of this. I think. And then what I want to do with this is actually bring it wide. And bring it big. <laughs> bring it wide and bring it big. There we go. And our turret is going to be... Uh, I don't know. Maybe not that big. But like really big. And also circular. Big and circular. That's what we want. There we go. That looks like a good size. Now let's go to the top of this and make it into an actual turret. Bosch. Okay. Yeah. Bring this up. Excellent. And I guess it's going to have to be up quite high. <laughs> there we go. And that's going to be our turret. Yes. Extend it again. I am going to squidge these guys just a tiny bit and just a tiny bit there. Yeah. Lovely. All right. I know it looks weird. I know it does. But don't worry about that too much. All right. Grab each of these as well. There we go. Nice. Go and extend it. All right, which looks very weird. Bring it backwards. Again, very, very weird. Squidge it down just a little bit. And honestly, that looks pretty good. And then squidge it inwards a little bit too. Lovely. Yeah. Uh, I do think the smooth angle should be like down a little bit. There. And that looks sick, actually. I really like that. It is a bit tall. Like, I would say that. It is actually very tall. So let's go ahead and lower it down into the belly of the beast a little bit. And then we can shove the actual gun onto here. Extrude that. Send it backwards just a little bit. And the gun can go in there. And you guys know exactly what mantlet we're going to use. It's going to be this one. It literally is always this one. So shove that into there. That looks, that looks awesome, actually. Good. Uh, and it's an interwar tank. So the cannon doesn't actually have to be that big. We're going to go with 57 millimeter rounds. Apparently the propellant length is going to be massive, which is fine. Two meters on this, and it's going to be even more. Yep, and muzzle brake. I guess we can go with one of these. That honestly doesn't look too bad. Let's make it a little bit chunkier. I go with 25 there, 25 here, 25 there, and 25 there. That looks like a chunkier gun. Beautiful. I really like this so far. Alright, so we're going to have to have a gunner's sight. Uh, as always, I'll put it in the center to begin with, and we'll lower it down onto the sides just like that. Uh, it looks like it's stuck on there, which is fine, because it totally is, uh, and that's okay. Let's get ourselves a commander's coupler as well. I actually want to go with one of these Matilda ones, and I'm going to shove that there. Okay, and we're going to try and add a bunch more detail to this as well, but honestly, we've already got loads of detail. Why would we need more? No, I'm going to go ahead and shove this guy here, but I'm going to make it loads bigger. There we go. And then I'm going to try and just fit it in. Yeah, just like that, actually. All right, lower it down. Bring it forward so it, like, doesn't poke out, but it pokes out. There we go. Yes. Nice. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is add a bunch more details around this thing again. And once I've done that, we will go ahead and... 
I guess test this thing out. Okay, so I don't want to go overboard. This is going to be it, I think. I'm just going to go ahead and leave those guys right there like that. I've added uh, some of these guys. I'm actually going to go ahead and add some logs down there, which may or may not make sense. Actually, that makes no sense at all. But you know what? Let's go ahead and put them back on. Okay, right. We got our logs on there. We got our gun. We have a gunner. We got a driver. I'm going to upgrade the engine to be a little bit better because at the minute it sucks. Uh, and we're going to raise that up to be like two. Okay, we have the space for this, so that's fine. Basket space is going to be massive. I don't actually want to add any armor to this. I know that might sound insane. And it is. Uh, so yeah, there you go. I don't want to add any armor, because I'm insane. That is it. Alright, let's go ahead and flip this over, just like so. Go ahead and raise it up. There we go. Push it in. Beautiful. And fire. Yes, we can fire every one second. 1.5 seconds. Not too bad. Okay, so how do you test out an interwar tank? Well, you take it into an interwar battle and you do some interwar shooting of interwar tanks. That is, that is essentially what you do. So let's go ahead and shoot this. And he's actually already dead. Beautiful. Remember, I didn't add any armor to this. And I also didn't change the gear ratios, which is very much evident. Now that we're trying to drive, <laughs> it really kind of sucks, to be honest. The guns themselves, though, are pretty nice, as long as you actually hit the targets. There's only one enemy remaining, and it's the boss guy, who is coming over the hill. Oh, that ricocheted. That did not ricochet, and he is dead. Beautiful. Let's try that again, but this time, upgrade the engine. Well, actually, it's not the engine, is it? It is the uh, the gearbox. Let's go ahead and raise this up to, like, six. And this could go to six as well. Bosh and bosh. And now we should be able to move a hell of a lot easier. Yes. Okay, that is that is actually fantastic. Okay, aim up at that guy. Oh, I just shot down a tree. Okay, he's dead. Excellent. Turn to the other side if we need to. And destroy that guy. There we go. Oh! Ha oh. I just got shot in the face and died. But we did take out the guy that shot me. We got revenge on ourselves. That's insane. Anyway, let's drive up here. And kill the boss tank again. Oh, is it even the boss tank that's... Yeah, it is. It is. Can I make it up this hill? That just shows how much gears I actually do. Ah. No. He shot me before I could shoot him. Oh, no. It's, it's happening to every single tank I have. This is not good. All right, aim. We might have to do this on the move. He's going to come over that hill. And he's dead. There we go. Beefy cannon, no armor, but a beautiful beast. Totally works. That is awesome. So I named this thing the Interwar Beast 1, right? I have a tank called the Interwar Beast, right? Uh, and I, I have a feeling I built it very similarly, kind of. Uh, but on this one, I added this. Yeah, that's kind of interesting. It's very similar, but not quite the same. It's like the, the cross. So, like, it's got sponsons or whatever they're called uh, coming out the side this way. And, obviously, the turret on the top. And then the raised bit at the back. I just did it kind of ugly. I don't know. Uh, I mean, this tank isn't really that ugly. I think this bit is. But it's also ugly on the new one, too. So, yeah, I don't know. Let me know which one you guys actually prefer out of these. In the comments down below. Uh, but yeah, I think I prefer the new one. It's much bigger. And just strong. Let's go ahead and fight again. I don't know, why not? So let's go ahead and aim and... Fire! Just to make sure we definitely win these battles, you know? I need to make sure you guys can see. We've built something that totally works. Okay, that's, that's all that matters. Whatever we have actually works. Kill that guy. Oh, I missed. Someone else shot him and he's dead though, so that's good. There's only two enemies remaining. Is that guy dead? I want to say that that guy is already dead. Oh, that guy up on the hill. Oh, nope, he's dead now. And finally, the boss tank again. Oh, never mind, he died too. He's already dead. So yeah, this tank actually does very, very well against the enemies. I am very pleased with it. Let me know in the comments down below what you guys think of it. And I guess I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.